The University of Waterloo is located on the traditional territory of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. The University of Waterloo is situated on the Haudenosaunee tract, the land promised to the Six Nations that includes 10 kilometers on each side of the Grand River. Hello everyone, welcome to our session hosted by the Faculty of Mathematics at University of Waterloo. Congratulations, it's exciting time that you've been admitted to the Faculty of Mathematics. All your hard work has paid off. You should be very proud of yourselves. My name is Vicky Liu and I work with our undergrad recruitment admissions team in the Faculty of Math. It's my pleasure to lead the webinar today and to share some information that you will need to know as you're getting ready to become one of the Mathies at University of Waterloo. If you have any questions during the presentation, feel free to throw them in the Q&A box. We are here to help. Why Waterloo Math is so special? You might have known a lot about us, but please let me brag a little bit. The Faculty of Math at University of Waterloo is the only dedicated Faculty of Math in North America. Many other universities may have small math or computer science programs or math departments, but they are usually much smaller and just can't compare to our math and CS at Waterloo. We are a powerhouse for math, CS, education, and research. Both of our math and computer science programs are ranked top 40 in the world. Um, this has drawn uh, dedicated professors from around the world, meaning you will get to study and do research uh, with the best and the brightest. Now we have over 8,000 undergrad students and more than 250 full-time professors and academic support staff teaching and supporting our students in this field. With over 500 courses to choose from in math and computer science alone, you will be short on choice throughout your undergrad degree. We attract the smartest students from all over the world every year. So joining Waterloo Math means that you will be joining a community with other bright students who are passionate about math as you are. It will be a wonderful adventure to work with these top minds and learn from each other. One of the most common questions we get from students is, what can I do with a degree in mathematics? A math degree can set you up for a great career because it's a good foundation for many different jobs in all kinds of industries. And it's relevant for many of the technologies and the trends shaping the world of work. It means that your love of math and computing will give you a lot of options, not only with what you study, but how and where you apply what you learn. A Bachelor of Mathematics degree from the University of Waterloo is your path to almost any career you can think of. Our strength in mathematics, statistics, and computing gives students a very competitive edge in some fast-growing and high-paying career areas. According to CareerCast, seven of the top 10 jobs in 2019 started with a background in math, including actuary, IT specialist, and the number one job, data scientist. So if you are interested in things like game design, special effects, movie industry, human health, IT operations, finance and risk management, artificial intelligence and machine learning, cybersecurity and privacy, they all start with math. Now I'd like to switch gear and talk about the opportunity you will have to gain experiences during your education and what that means as a Waterloo student. Co-op is a big thing for Waterloo students. Uh, Waterloo invented a co-op and now we're operating the largest post-secondary co-op program of its kind in the world. We have over 7,100 employers hiring Waterloo co-op students in over 60 countries. So how does it work? The idea is that co-op students alternate your study and work terms and graduate with up to two years of relevant paid work experience. You come to Waterloo, do one, two, or three school terms, taking courses before you go off on your first work term. Then you come back to school, study again, go out to work, come back to school, go out to work until you graduate. You will be graduating with up to two years of paid work experience. You will be able to try various types of jobs, uh, get to know more about what you like to do or something you may not like, which is equally important. It's a learning process. During the study term before your first work term, you will go through the hiring process, building a resume, applying to jobs, and participate in interviews, all done through Waterloo directly. We have an online platform called Waterloo Works, where you will be able to apply to jobs posted by employers from all sectors of the economy, like computer firms, consulting firms, business, government. Um, your first co-op term can be challenging because you probably don't have much experience and you also compete with senior year students. 
So try to adjust your expectations, be more flexible in terms of the nature of the job, location, salary, etc. Please take the advantage of resources and the supports that are available. We have free seminars, workshops, and advisor meetings to help you build your resume, uh, help with preparing for interviews, and how to search for career opportunities. What if you are not in co-op? What if you're in regular system study? Don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, the regular system study follows the traditional school year, which means you, you'll be in school between September and April each year and have your summers off. It's a quicker path to graduation and the same supports are available. You don't need to be in a certain program to get a job directly related to a certain field. It's most important that you are competitive and apply to jobs that match your skills and interests. For example, uh, we wanted to highlight the variety in some co-op job titles for applied math students like accounting assistant, business analysis, data scientist, financial analysis. You can see how much variety there is here in what a student can do from the same major or program. No two students graduate with exactly the same degree because each student choose different courses and co-op positions throughout their studies. Our advice to you is to look at job descriptions and compare it to what you have learned in your courses and where your interests lie. At Waterloo, we have a unique intellectual property policy where the students own 100% of your ideas created on campus. This has led to hundreds of spin-off companies. Uh, math students are active in Concept, which is Waterloo's on-campus startup incubator. Um, if you come up with any cool ideas, we can help. More than 100 startups and companies have their roots in the Faculty of Mathematics. For student in honors math program, you are not in any specialization your first year. You will be studying first year courses, and then as early as uh, the end of your first year, you can choose your major. There are 14 options after first year, uh, like actuarial science, applied mathematics, mathematics, uh, finance, mathematics, physics, or pure math. If you don't know what you like at this point, it's totally fine. You still have at least one year to think about that. Having a common first year is a great opportunity for our students to explore different options within math before you make your decisions. Uh, there are a lot of ways we can help. You can go talk to your professor to get some advice. Uh, there are also information sessions hosted by our math undergraduate office and professors can get some information about majors uh, from these sessions. Uh, you can also discuss with your academic advisor about your career goals or preferences. Um, we are here to help. More information can be found on the link shared on the screen. Computer science programs at David Charter School of Computer Science. The Char Charter School of Computer Science is named for David R. Charton, who earned his PhD in computer science in 1978. It has become the largest academic concentration of computer science researchers in Canada. Our computer science is ranked 22nd in the world. Now we have over 3,600 undergrad students, over 400 graduate students, and over 100 faculty members. Four computer science programs, including business administration and computer science double degree, computer science, computing and financial management, which is a joint program between School of Computer Science and the School of Accounting and Finance in the Faculty of Arts, Soft engineering program is a joint program between faculty of math and faculty of engineering. You can explore additional areas of interest with your computer science studies by adding a specialization in second year to customize your degree, um, like artificial intelligence, bioinformatics, business, computational fine arts, uh, digital hardware, human computer interaction, or software engineering. Our uh, math business accounting programs, there are five, uh, including our business and the math double degree, business and the computer science double degree, math and the business, uh, math CPA, and math farm. Our business and the math double degree program, you'll be taking math courses at Waterloo. Uh, business courses uh, through Laurier. After five years, you're getting two degrees from both. You're getting a Bachelor of Mathematics from Waterloo 
and Bachelor of Business Administration from Laurier in five years. It's co-op only programs. So you'll be getting four to five co-op terms as well. Uh, we also have another double degree program with Laurier, uh, Business and Computer Science double degree. Same idea, uh, Computer Science at a Waterloo Business through Laurier, five year, uh, full two degrees from both universities. Some students might have been admitted to the double degree programs through Laurier. Uh, there's no difference either your home universities, Waterloo or Laurier, in terms of the courses you are going to take or the degrees you are going to graduate with. Uh, the big difference is that you are going to get your co-op housing scholarships or uh, varsity teams through your home school. Our math and business single degree program, you'll be taking math courses at Waterloo, including actuarial science, computer science, uh, stats. Uh, your business courses will be at Lower University, like uh, accounting, economics, business. Uh, you'll be graduating with a Bachelor of Mathematics. Uh, in your second year, you have an option to major in IT management. It's a second year entry major. Uh, you'll learn about system analysis, databases, um, e-business networks, and the management information systems, along with marketing, project management, and business statistics. You'll be graduating with a Bachelor of Math uh, degree after you finish all the courses. Mathematics Chartered Professional Accountancy or Math CPA program. It's the only accounting program in Canada that you'll be graduating with a Bachelor of Mathematics degree. The accounting courses are offered by our School of Accounting and Finance, which is nationally accredited by CPA Canada. You can get up to 16 months of CPA approved work experience through your co-op work terms. You will be exempt from the CPA professional education program upon completion of our eight month master of accounting program. Uh, mathematics, financial analysis, risk management or farm program. Uh, your study a mix of mathematics, finance, accounting and economics, giving you the perfect foundation for a career in banking uh, investment management or risk management. When you graduate, you will be prepared to write the Chartered uh, Financial Analysis CFA exams or to pursue other professional designations such as Professional Risk Manager, PRM. What to expect in your first year in the Faculty of Math or what does your first year look like? All students coming into a program in Math or Computer Science at Waterloo will take a common first year that includes calculus, algebra, computer science, and two non-math or computer science courses. You will also complete two communication courses during your degree. Um, this will look different than the English courses you are taking during high school. They are designed to give you the skills you require for your studies and will help you in the workforce so you can be successful in whatever you choose to do upon graduation. Since all math and computer science students are taking a common first year, this also means that you have the opportunity to lay a great foundation in math and computer science before you choose your area or areas of study. Uh, for most of you in honors math, computer science, and math and business, you will choose your majors as early as end of your first year. Students love the opportunity to explore the different areas within math before deciding where to focus their studies for the rest of their degree. Coming to the Faculty of Math, we want to make sure that you have the resources and the support to be a successful student throughout your undergrad degree. We have tutorial centers in our math and computing buildings, as well as right in the residences where you would live on campus. Uh, you will also have access to academic or program advisors they would help you both choose the courses you would like to take during your undergrad degree and help fulfill your career goals for the future. There are also great support if you are interested in combining more than one area in math to customize your degree. We have state-of-the-art uh, computer equipment available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when you are working on an assignment or a project outside of your classes, uh, you will still have access to whatever you need. More information on some of the resources just mentioned can be found within this web pages. Uh, we also wanted to share a link to our student success office. This department provides academic and personal development services, uh, resources for international students, such as our immigration consultants and international peer community, as well as study abroad and exchange support. 
And let's not forget our parents and guardians. There's a lot of information and support available to this amazing human supporting our students from afar. Let's talk about communities. At any university, the communities you are part of as a student uh, will make a big difference to your overall experience, how much you enjoy it and what you get out of it. Two students starting the same program in a residence can have two very different experiences. Let's talk about some of the ways you will engage with communities at Waterloo. This is where you will call home for the next four to five years. Uh, Waterloo's main campus is made up of 1,000 acres and is self-contained, like a city within a city. It's a large campus, but all buildings are within a five to 15 minutes walk from one another. Uh, so no need to have a car um, as all transportation is included and walking is encouraged. The campus is made up of uh, lots of green space, a rock garden, a playing fields, and even uh, includes Laurel Creek that winds through the middle of campus. The Waterloo region is actually made up of three cities, Waterloo, uh, Kitchener, and Cambridge. We're home to over, well, over half a million people in total from 195 different ethnic backgrounds. We are located about 100 kilometers west of the Toronto area, and you can travel there by bus or train. Uh, Waterloo is a very student-friendly community. The region is home to two universities and a college, and it's very easy to get around with Grand River uh, Transit City Bus and a light rail network. Uh, it's a very safe city and ideal for study, for careers, and research. A wide range of industries from uh, information technology to public service have operations in the area. Living cost is much lower than some of the big cities like Toronto or Vancouver. You are highly encouraged to live on campus the first year. With a commitment to putting your needs first, our residences and our university colleges are uh, the most understanding landlords in town and will adjust our practices and policies to best support you. Studies have found that students living in residence first year are more likely to succeed and move ahead into second year. Each of Waterloo's first year residences offer personal and academic support, such as living and learning communities and academic clusters, uh, resident life staff and social activities to help you adjust to living away from home. Uh, we also guarantee a spot in residence for all incoming first year students, but you must be sure to apply and submit your deposit by June 1st. For students in our farm program, we have an exciting program called the Farm Living Learning Community. This initiative is a collaboration between the Faculty of Math and St. Paul's University College residents. Um, incoming farm students are invited to join this live-in program that addresses the unique needs of first-year students in the farm program. You would live alongside other students in the farm program and uh, receive support from specially trained up-year peer leaders from the farm program as well. Um, this program is designed to help make your transition to university as smooth as possible while uh, focusing on the particular aspects of your program. Getting involved is a great way to meet people, explore your interests, take a break from academics, and also have fun. Uh, whether you are interested in food, politics, uh, dance, business, gaming, uh, your Waterloo Undergrad Student Association, WUSA, offers more than 200 student clubs, the perfect way to meet others who share your interests. As well, there are nearly 30 athletic clubs, ranging from archery and the dragon boats to Quidditch and Ultimate. Um, and if there isn't a club that matches your interests, gather a group of friends and start your own club with the help of Musa. University is an investment in your future, and I know financing your education is not always an easy conversation. So I'd like to mention some of the ways to help offset the cost of your education. In addition to co-op, as I just mentioned, uh, you will also be considered uh, for interest scholarships. They will be awarded with your offer letter, and you will be notified if you also receive a faculty-specific award as well. Uh, this can both be viewed on your Quest account. Bursaries are also available after first year, as well as summer jobs, part-time jobs, and teaching or research assistant positions. Your own tuition amount will be on your Quest account starting in August, and all the instructions on how to pay are online. 
We also have a great tool for international students looking to find their fees for either the first term or first year of, of your studies. Our student fee estimator include tuition fees and on-campus residence and the meal plan costs. We have given you lots of great tools to help you decide what you want to study at the university. So what's next? Here are some important days to consider over the next few months. Um, now that you have received your offer, you can accept that offer to officially become a warrior. Be sure to do this before June 1st. Um, you will accept your offer admission on the Ontario University's Application Center, or UAC, where you first apply to Waterloo. You can fill out your residence ranking form and pay your deposit to hold your spot in residence on our housing website. Don't forget that both accepting your offer and paying your resident deposit need to be done by June 1st. I just mentioned be sure to accept your offer before June 1st on OUEC. Also be sure to review your offer on Quest and check your final conditions. The deadlines for this will be on your offer letter or sent to you in an email. Um, all students coming into the Faculty of Math will select your courses through the Mass First Year database in late June or early July. Uh, course selection can be confusing your first time, especially since your course selection for first term differs from the process will follow for second semester and beyond. Uh, please watch your email or check Quest for the exact course selection dates. Follow the instructions to make sure that your course selection for fall semester is done correctly. Uh, finally, as I mentioned on the previous slide, you can view and pay your tuitions in late August. If you are international students, you need to apply for your study permit. Please do so as soon as possible because um, application processing time might be longer because of the pandemic. If you have been admitted to a co-op program, please apply for your co-op work permit as well. Those information can be found on the IRCC website. If you need to prepay your tuition as part of your study permit application, please use our uh, fee estimator. We do want to mention some great programs in place before you start your studies at Waterloo. The first is Waterloo Ready. Waterloo Ready is the university's new student virtual transition program. It's a program for incoming students organized by the Student Success Office, SSO, in partnership with all six faculties and the several campus partners. Uh, Waterloo Ready is designed for new Waterloo undergrad students and give you personal connections with other students, insider tips, and resources to successfully navigate your first year. Uh, there's no need to register. As an incoming Waterloo student, you will automatically start receiving uh, personalized communications from the university. Incoming students are matched within upper year peer mentor for weekly virtual chat chats with a group of, of other incoming students from your faculty. The uh, Waterloo Ready Learn modules prepare you for the academic expectations within your faculty, introduces you to campus resources and the supports and teaches you how to successfully learn online. You are invited to watch simple lectures and participate in live chats from your faculty. There are also live chats to address the specific needs of international students. If you're looking to stay mathematically sharp over the next couple of months before you begin your studies at Waterloo, we recommend using our CEMC website to access lots of free resources. This includes our math coursework that is based off um, of the Ontario Grade 12 math curriculum. This coursework is a non-credit based application that allows you to choose from different subjects in advanced functions and calculus to practice topics and test your knowledge through quizzes from home. Uh, you'll also have access to years of past contests if you want to strengthen your uh, problem solving skills. You can also enroll in our Mathel 99 for math preparation. Mathel 99 is an online skills-based course designed to help prepare you for university studies in mathematics. It will provide extra practice with inequalities and absolute values, radicals and rational expressions, trigonometry, exponential and logarithmic functions, polynomials and introductory calculus. There are a lot of ways to connect with us. You can follow us on social media or email. Um, I also wanted to remind you that if you have a confidential question, please note that we'll be 
visible in the Q&A box, so please uh, email us instead, and we are happy to discuss with you further. If you have more detailed questions that you would like to discuss with an admissions expert from the Faculty of Math, please don't hesitate to reach out. We've been meeting with a number of students and family from around the world through Zoom. We would love to hear from you and set up a Zoom meeting with you and your family. Uh, to set up a one-on-one -on -one discussion, please email us at mathinfo at uwanadu.ca. Thank you so much for joining us for the webinar today. This is now concludes the formal portion of our webinar. All of our math representatives will be available for the next about 40 minutes to answer all of your questions. Thank you. Thanks for joining us uh, this evening. Um, I know you have a lot of questions. It might uh, take a bit of time for us to get back to you. Um, there, there are a lot of great questions. Uh, some students asking about our uh, 2021 fall semester planning. Um, here are some uh, updates. Uh, faculties have planned to deliver uh, much more in-person learning that we have done at any point in the pandemic to date. Um, it's our intention to keep expanding in-person experiences throughout this academic year and its uh, public health conditions allow. Uh, we have planned to offer as many in-person classes as possible with any required physical distancing and gathering size restrictions to maintain safety. Um, classrooms will be scheduled at 50% of normal uh, room capacity based on our current expectations of the public health guidelines for the fall. We will work to ensure that students who are unable to come to campus uh, to learn in the fall have options to progress toward completion of your program. Academic advisors will be available to help students consider the options available to you. Fall term courses will finish the way uh, they start. So if a course uh, starts online, it will remain online until the end of the, uh, the term and will not transition to in-person. If a course starts in person, it will remain in person unless uh, public health requirement, requirements dictate a move to online. In addition to on-campus academic experiences, we'll continue to offer in-person activities and support, including campus housing, access to the center, house services, counseling services, student clubs, and recreational activities. Above all, we are guided by the need to protect the health and well-being of our students, employees, and the broader community. Uh, whatever the conditions in September, we will be ready to adapt the, these plans to the public health requirements of the moment. For the Faculty of Mathematics, we want to let you know about our planning for the 2021-2022 uh, academic year and how some of the core courses will be delivered in the fall for the first year students. Uh, math 135, 137, 145, and 147 will be delivered into two, into, uh, two modes, online for remote learners and on campus for in-person attendees. CS 115 and 135 will be delivered online with optional in-person components for those who are in campus. CS 145 will be delivered fully online. All first year students will be able to take full course loads either fully online or with a combination of online and on-campus courses. Our plans will be flexible to tackle unexpected changes. Uh, we will continue to provide updates from the Faculty of Mathematics as, as they become available to make sure that you are fully informed about uh, our full courses. Uh, more general information from the university will be available in the coming weeks. Um, also some uh, updates from the residents. Camps housing will be open to students for fall term. Uh, whether your class is online or in person, you are welcome to live with us. Camps housing is working closely with the public health authorities to implement safety uh, recommendations. Um, food services will be open to students for the fall term. First year students who have, uh, if you have completed the residence community ranking form and confirmed your commitment to residence by June 1st, 2021 with a deposit, but no longer able to come to campus this fall, you can request deposit refund. Be sure to uh, request your refund by Monday, June 7th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. 
our time, like Waterloo time. Uh, study permit holders will be granted a refund after this deadline, as we understand that international travel continues to be impacted by uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Study permit students must cancel before arriving on campus in September. So students who have completed the residence uh, community ranking form and submitted a deposit uh, will uh, receive the link to the refund request form by email. Um, please note that this webinar is being recorded. So if you want a copy of this, please email us at mathinfo at um, For some students, in math program, but interest in computer science, uh, you cannot major or minor in computer science for math um, and transfers are kind of, you know, competitive because of space. Um, but there are some options for um, math students uh, who are interested in some computer science component. Um, there are a few majors uh, that are available for math students, data science or computational mathematics or computers and optimization. Uh, we also have a computing minor, um, which is available to all interest math students as well. Um, some uh, courses in computer science are available for math students as well, like CS230, uh, CS231, CS330. Uh, you can get list or you can uh, talk to your advisor and see what, uh, what options for you. Yeah, we will be stick around for another 25 minutes. So you still have a lot of time. Take your time and throw your questions over our way. Uh, we're happy to help with any question you have at this point. Um, it's been a really challenging year for all of us. I can feel you um, hopeful. Hopefully we'll get the uh, vaccinations very soon and uh, see everyone on campus uh, in, the, in the near future.